Media here is going to show us how to make the perfect little banner that will be a great conversation piece in any room. And I can have a permanent smile on my face. She when I pulls her little ears back too, which you make <laughs> I'll try. But no, this is something that will make you smile as well. I'm a big believer in affirmations. And these are some of the things that I tell my son. So these, I think happy thoughts, be happy. And I just like to make pretty things. Listen, so that's listen. what I love seeing this every single day. These wall banners are something that are trendy right now, but you can make your own and decorate your house and see the positive vibes every it. single and day. And be surrounded by it all yeah. the time. I love it. Okay, let's start with the shape of the banners. How do we get that a typical banner shape, just like that? So for the banner shape, I'm using canvas. So you can see I have here, with canvas, they come in lots of different colors and different uh, knits. So this is like a looser knit, darker color. And as it gets lighter, just by chance with what I have here, the, the knit gets a little bit tighter as well. Okay. Um, Does and, that help? You know, I feel like... It doesn't necessarily help the way it hangs, but I find that the tighter the knit, the cleaner it is. Okay. And the, if you're going to write on it, it looks a little bit nicer, cleaner. It absorbs it a little bit better. Okay. And it will depend on what you use to do the front of it. And so that's what I have here is just a, I cut it into a rectangle. So this is me creating the shape that I have on the wall. So this was a big sheet of canvas. Sure. And I just cut it. So the, the length that I have is about 18 by 13 approximately. And what you want to do, you can see I have my lines already here. I'm doing it on this side. Uh, uh, so find your center, sure, okay. and I go up about five or six inches on both sides and use a marker to do this. And I just use my fabric scissors okay. uh, just to make my cuts, and it just creates. <laughs> I like just the creates. way you said that. I know they're very special. Fabric, that, yes. yeah. I will tell you, I have had my fabric scissors for years. Okay. Oh, no boy. joke. Maria, don't say that now because oh. you know what's going to happen. Oh, uh, no. oh, so, no, Debbie's no. going to cut no. something. No. <laughs> Because the way of the universe, the minute you say that around this house, the fabric sisters disappear. I don't know what happens. I, or I'll like, be using it to like. Do you know how they're like that one, that one sock that you lose out of the dryer? That happens with the fabric scissors around here. I label mine. Can Can I ask you something about? Because I know yes. that the um, you like using the canvas. Yeah. What if I wanted to use another fabric? Oh, so if you wanted to use another fabric, I love using felt because it's so easy to use. But I will say you're not going to really get this exact look if you use an, another fabric. Okay. Um, and the thing is, uh, fabrics do fray. So I will say you could use another one. But with this look of sort of the rusticness of the, the canvas, you don't even have to worry about because of the, the way that I fold it over. So that brings us into our next step okay. is that uh, I fold it about a quarter of an inch. Uh, over here is my... Here's a good little trick. Yeah, right? so what I do is I fold it over about a quarter of an inch. You can see I've already pressed these over like so. Use your iron to press it over, and the way to get your clean edge is sort of like you're wrapping a present. Exactly. You know, you do that exactly. and press it over, and you just want to do, you want your, you know, iron to be really hot and yeah, kind of push it over. So this way you don't worry about if it does fray. But would you ever use, remember, was it yesterday or the day before, you used the fray, the no The fray check. So, yes, you can use that, but the reason I don't is because I like how clean it looks. It looks when you when do here. that. For instance, okay, yeah, so. The fold really, yeah, the, that, that end yes. really does look uh, Exactly, and I'll really show you. I'll expensive. show you. It looks more, you know, you could use a fray check, but I think with this one, I like the look of it, just not the edge. Right. I want to see the, it okay, to be really good. clean. Yeah, it's nice. And so what I did, I did the hot glue all along the border, sure. leaving the top because you don't have to worry about that, and, and just flip, flip it over. over. So you can see, Deb, oh, I love if you were to yeah, do yeah, this yeah. versus... It's much better than... Yeah, yeah much better. Versus now, if this one, see, even no, if I did the fray so check, the, and you also don't have to worry about making your cuts extremely perfect that way. Right. So that's what we have there. It. Now, what yeah. about the uh, doing the designs on the front? What kind of materials... Uh, can we look at okay. getting the lettering, getting the design? Yes, over. so to get really fancy with this, I did find these letters here. These are iron-on letters you just get at the craft supply sure. store. And these are iron-on detailing. They're really, really oh. fun. You can feel, Deb, here. Actually, if you guys want to do... Uh, do put these on. I love so you iron fold over on. a little bit because that's where the dowel is going to be going through. Is that the idea? I saw yes. you fold over that back. So my tip when you're designing the front okay. is you want to be sure that you know the the what you're going to use to hang it on yep. and uh, yeah and and do the, your design the way you want it to be. So like for instance, I know that I'm going to use that. a dowel yeah. that is either thin or thicker. And based on that, you I can, can put it underneath. It but I do recommend, so for instance, like so, I, I do recommend taking it out when you're doing your design so that it's laying flat and that it looks really pretty. Right, so, so you, you can do that. Right. And yeah. when you iron it on, if you are using iron on letters and decals, then obviously it's going to come off. And by the way, how this. great would this be for a college dorm? You know, oh, it would be so perfect. Started. See the positive affirmations. Yeah. That, so... Every iron-on uh, thing that you use is going to have different instructions. So follow the instructions. Some of them are about a minute. 
So just, you know, sit there and hang out and do and that. And you always cover it? You usually want to cover it. Okay. Yeah, it could, it could risk sticking onto the iron. But I'm going to let this one be for a minute and just talk to you a little bit about how to hang it. All right, how do we hang well, it? Okay. This guy right so, here, it's got a cool. Yeah, it's got a yeah. cool. Okay, so for this one here, we flip oh, over. Get your game face on, Game people. face on, everybody. Soccer you know. starts this weekend for soccer. my Soccer? What about oh, football? Oh, yeah. well, oh, what, well, what my, 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 son starts, my son starts soccer. Okay. <laughs> In Maria's world, it's all about soccer, right? Soccer. Okay. She's a soccer mom. So I am, for, yeah, for real. Uh, soccer's big in our That's house. So, so you can see the dowel with the way I did it. I wanted to make it so you could take it in or out. So the what I have here is I just used the glue gun, folded it over like so, and that is the only, that's how you hang it. And then just put the dowel in. And you can use some ribbon or twine. Oh, ribbon. Yeah, just to, just to hang onto the wall. What's cool about that is it's interchangeable. You can glue that. them on if you want. Beautiful, you could also yeah. use something like a stick or something you find in the wilderness. And make it to rustic. Like, and make it rustic. Sure. And something that, a memory from a trip oh, you go on or something absolutely. like that and as these, well. These messages oh, and these little self mantras and things like that are always changeable so you can keep them going. Yes, you surrounded can. by these positive Positive Thank messages. You, Maria. That's really Thank you, Maria. Cute. I love that. For full instructions, of course, go to hallmarkchannel.com. You can check it all out right there. I love all of these. I also love Shirley, and she's a mess. <laughs> I love you too, Debbie. And I'm going to show you how to take this delicious sweet plum and make your own homemade prunes. <laughs>